Covered in chocolate. Steaming from a fresh roast. Or mixed in with other yummy treats, nuts. I don't think people realized how healthy nut meats and trail mixes and dried fruits are for you, and it just, you know, took off. Tree nuts are surging in production, up 65% from a decade ago. The nutrient-rich, snackable protein is a $40 billion industry. Peanuts grab the top spot, consumers munching down on 43 million metric tons a year, the weight of six million elephants. But peanuts are actually a legume. So the king of the nuts title ends up going to the almond. Even though nut lovers only take down 1.1 million tons of those a year. So they look nice. Few people are as nutty about the nut as brothers Richard Hoffey and TJ Ethier, owners of Arcade Snacks in Auburn. The name does throw people off to come in here looking for pinball machines or whatever, but Arcade was my father's middle name. Though the name may cause confusion, there is no mistaking their mission. Fresh roasted nuts, yeah. You're like quality control over no. every single one. Yeah. I'm never happy. I'm constantly trying to better what we do, how we make it, how we roast it, and how, how it really gets to our end customer. The endless search for perfection began in their father's Acton, Massachusetts garage more than four decades ago. My stepfather, George Arcade Ethier, and myself started in my mom's garage. He had been working for Acton Food Services. When he left, his severance pay was uh, 15 little nut roasters. Started selling nuts out of the garage, going to flea markets. I would go Saturday and Sunday mornings, put the tailgate down the pickup, put the cans of nuts up and sell them. Their cashews really taking flight inside Terminal A at Logan Airport. I was roasting cashews in a little snack bar. Uh, when you come off, it was the Eastern Shuttle. And I started roasting the cashews, turning the fan on, and people would come off and they'd smell the fresh roasted cashews and they would come into the, you know, the cafe. Today, they roast, mix, and package thousands of pounds a week, including one of their top sellers. Ever had that wasabi pea mix at the bar? It's made right here. We can't make enough of the 19th whole snack How much mix. do you make a week? We probably, there's weeks that we make between eight to 10,000 pounds. Everybody loves the 19th hole, right? Yes, well, especially me after <laughs> a bad golf game. But the fan favorite. People drive here from all over just to get our cash. Just to get these. It's definitely the wow factor. It's our signature. This is a big cashew. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know of any other uh, cashew that's as large as uh, this. Their jumbo cashew is farmed in Brazil and roasted in a bubbly bath of peanut oil in Arcade's Auburn facility. It starts with the raw nut, freshness and quality. And everything's done right here. We package everything right here and we roast everything right here. We mix everything right here. You have probably enjoyed their nut meats before, sold at hundreds of locations throughout New England. My dad would be shocked at how far we've come since his passing nine years ago. I think he'd be really proud of what we turned into. Their dad's legacy lives on here, from his turtle molds to questionable creations turned popular palate pleasers. Came up with this popcorn pizza idea. And when he first put it out here, Rick and I were like, what is that? And we've had it out here since, and it sells every year. Solid chocolate and um, all kinds of nuts and caramel corn, and then they drizzle the three chocolates over it. From George's Pizza to shelves of eye-filling candy creations and penny pleasures of the past, the warehouse has a small but boastful retail location. I've seen people come in and they're like, oh my god, I haven't seen this in ages, and it's so fun to see. I believe it's a hidden gem. <laughs> and chances are that you have enjoyed some arcade treats. They can be found, as Nicole mentioned, throughout many popular grocers throughout the state. Right, 99% of their business is wholesale, but they do have some unique items in their retail store. Marshmallow Pops, they're famous there apparently, and Nicole admits to taking home a few chocolate-covered nutter butters, which she said were amazing. I don't remember trying any of her nutter butters. Mm. She kept them for herself. Didn't get here. <laughs> All right, coming up, acorns there for people too.